Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update. Do not mind uh, the mess on the table. I'm shooting for a collection video that's coming out next week. But lots of stuff happened in the world of LEGO this week. And before I get into that, I want to say congratulations to James in Colorado for being our very first set giveaway winner. Uh, we've already been in contact with him. I've already sent out the set to him. So congratulations, man. And thank you for everybody else who uh, participated in the giveaway event. More information on that next week. We're gonna do it once every two weeks. So next week, we're gonna announce the uh, the next set that we're giving away. But anyways, lots of stuff happened in the world of LEGO today. Uh, stuff with Toys R Us and the new bankruptcy. Um, there's a bunch of things that happened anyways. Let's uh, get into it. But first, it's gonna be the Amazon deals of the week. As always, due to popular demand, we like to link the latest Amazon sales for Lego sets in the description below. So these sets are the latest ones. Star Wars Advent Calendar actually being the newest one added. And if any of this stuff interests you, remember to check out the links in the description below. Let's just jump right in. Quick Toys R Us going bankrupt thing that we had, uh, that we reported on last week from the Brick Fanatics article, as well as the Chicago Tribune. So some of the numbers have been coming out as to how much Toys R Us actually owes certain companies because they've been losing out on profits for quite a while. And it shows that Toys R Us owes Lego uh, $32 million. That's quite a big chunk of change. I'm not sure. In fact, I don't think this has much to do with um, Lego underperforming in their most recent report about the growth of the company. But either way, it's obviously not good for them. But I don't think Lego actually shared the biggest brunt of uh, losses when it comes to the different toy companies because Hasbro is owed 59 million and Mattel is owed 136 million. This is unfortunately just something that happens when a giant toy distributor files for uh, bankruptcy. And anyways, that's just sort of the latest update for this story. But let's move on to uh, some new set reveals. Alan Train at thebrickfan.com has pictures of two new Christmas themed sets that are going to be available in December. This first one is the Christmas train set. Personally, I think this is one of the cooler, uh, smaller Christmas sets that Lego has made. The train is just a very unique item to get. I I think it's very well built and there's a lot of very small little structures and builds for little things that you can put around a Christmas town that I think would be very useful if you already have one or two of the other Christmas themed Lego sets from the past this would definitely help you sort of expand that area this is gonna be selling for ten dollars as well as the next one also coming out at the same time this is the town square I like the build for the Christmas tree it's kind of gated off like that special town big Christmas tree that I know is a pretty common tradition around the world and it looks like we've got a slave full of presents, a mailbox, and a small brick-built snowman. I think this is a pretty decent set as well. I personally like the train a little more. And as the Marvel Super Heroes 2 video game gets closer to release, we have more trailers or a new trailer showing off the Inhumans. So you get a closer look at some of the new playable characters. None of this is DLC, so it should all come in the regular game. And also, if you pre-order the deluxe edition of this game, there is an original uh, poster of some Lego artwork. It's basically sort of the front cover, but uh, hand-drawn. So anyways, that might be some incentive for some people that want to pre-order the game. I have left a link in the description below if that's indeed what you want to do. And if you want to see the full trailer, check out the link in the description below. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since the Ultimate Collector Series of LEGO Millennium Falcon went on sale for VIP members. And if you have been following the news on this channel or basically any other LEGO news resource, you'll know that it immediately sold out and availability has been sparse at best. Well, LEGO reported yesterday yesterday that the VIP early access has been extended past October 1st, which means regular members aren't gonna be able to purchase it on what was originally the scheduled release day for this set, October 1st. That has now been uh, pushed back officially. And the real update is that starting yesterday, or today when I'm recording, Friday, September 29th, you can either call or go into your local Lego store and actually officially sign up on a wait list. This does not guarantee that you will get the set necessarily. And they also have not said when you would be receiving the set, but it will be happening before the end of 2017. There is an asterisk to this, though. Um, just by signing up for the waitlist does not necessarily mean that you will end up receiving one of the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon sets. So if this is something that really interests you, I would suggest um, calling or going to your store like right now because the waitlist has technically started yesterday as of the bearing of this episode. Now, despite Toys R Us going bankrupt, does not mean that they are closing all their stores or stopping their 
events. So there are four Bricktober scheduled building events or build and play events. Alan Tran has linked that in an article of his. So I will just leave the link for that if you guys want to learn more about it. And also uh, this week, Lego House, the Lego House in Denmark has had its grand opening. To be perfectly honest, it does look really cool and I would love to visit there someday. But now it is time to move on to Lego Ideas. If you don't know what Lego Ideas is, it's a website you submit your own Lego creation in hopes to having it turned into an official Lego set. This week, no new sets capped off at 10,000 supporters to move on to the review stage. So I'm just gonna talk about and show some of the cool stuff that I've noticed on Lego Ideas this week. What I noticed right off the bat, which is kind of cool, one of the top 10 mocks that I talked about last week from Maxime Cheng, the vintage 1957 Harley Davidson Sportster is uh, trending currently. So that's pretty cool. If you guys wanna learn more about that build, I've actually got the top 10 mocks linked in this description below. But needless to say, it's just like an amazing motorcycle build and it's definitely worth taking a closer look at. But now I wanna talk about a build that I haven't already mentioned before and that is this planetarium by the builder Smile Du Jour. Now there's a lot of planetarium builds that have either gotten voted through or even are currently trending right now on other forms of Lego ideas. I found this one from the staff picks section but I think this observatory or planetarium really does have a little bit of a different edge that I think works really well and that is it's perfectly modular but also more importantly it's just a bit more colorful and unique. Personally I think it would add a lot of dimension to uh, the pre-existing creator modular sets. I like the sort of gray blue that's been added with these sort of orange highlights and we've got a big sort of half cylinder window in the front that I think works really well. On the top of course the observation dome would be a really cool piece that would stick out in a very unique way in a Lego city but of course it's not always about the looks on the outside. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on on the inside and my absolute favorite part is of course the recreation of the solar system or at least the Earth's rotation. So we have a little mini Lego Earth on the inside as well as a display showing all the different planets. There we have some funny uses of disc and hat shapes and stuff to make up all the different planets in our in our solar system. And out of all the Lego planetariums and observatories that have gone through ideas, also I think this is a set that is an inevitability, this type of set. This is my personal favorite of any of the different ones that I've seen. Also, and I just couldn't help myself, the last set I want to show off that I think is really cool. This is in the popular This Week tab and it is the SR-71A NASA 844 or also better known as the Blackbird. This is probably one of the coolest planes to have ever been built, both in the unique way it was engineered and just how amazing it looks as an actual ship. It's massive in terms of its size as a Lego build, and this is perfect minifig scale. I think all the important angles that really show off the cool design of the ship have been hit really well, and I have a feeling that if this thing went up onto shelves as an official set, people would go bananas. Just my own personal opinion. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to check out our LEGO news update. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, next week, we've got another LEGO Weekly News update for you. And tomorrow is Mike's top 10 mocks of the week. So that's basically where we just find the coolest stuff that people have been building and we pick our 10 favorites and talk about them. So Mike's doing that, uh, recording that literally like right now in the other room. So anyways, that's what's coming out for tomorrow. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Thank you.